everybody i'm dave with growing the home garden i am out visiting my tomato plants this morning just checking them all out and i noticed something that i need to share with you and talk to you about it is the hornworm caterpillar uh they're usually called the tobacco hornworm because they infest tobacco plants but they also love tomatoes so i think of them more as the tomato hornworm and they can be very devastating to your tomato plants so let me show you what they look like and what we need to do now that we've got some and here it is it is munching down on that tomato right there those are some cherry tomatoes we've got going and you almost wouldn't even be able to tell he's there he kind of blends in so easily with the other greenness around him uh, but they can be extremely devastating you get one or two of these on a tomato plant and they can defoliate the thing in just a few hours um, and it's really bad, especially if you catch it or if you don't catch it at night and they just go at it all night eating your tomato plants. Now, they can be a really major pest, but they're easy to take care of because really all you have to do is remove them from the plant. If you have chickens or animals, you can go feed them to the animals. Uh, I will remove this and I'll toss it out in the yard where the birds can go eat it. Now, one thing I do look for when I see a uh, creature like this one, uh, these tomato hornworms get attacked by the braconid wasps, and those wasps will inject their larvae into the caterpillar, which effectively kills them, because what happens next is the larvae emerge from the caterpillar, and they are pretty much paralyzed and it's part of that reproductive cycle with those wasps. So if you ever see one with these white growths from its backside just leave it alone you if you want to move it off your tomato plant that's fine just move it to another spot but you are seeing a beneficial insect actually emerge from that caterpillar that's going to kill off more of those caterpillars if they ever come around now i've not had a tomato hornworm in my garden in a very long time uh, mostly because I companion plant i think i use basil a lot near my tomatoes but i did not plant basil near this tomato uh, but it's going to happen. There's going to be problems and pests that pop up periodically. No garden is foolproof or 100% perfect. Um, so in this case here, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this caterpillar off and I'm going to move it out of the garden uh, where hopefully some birds can enjoy it. You see that thing moving around? He's really chowing down on that little cherry tomato. I wonder if he just heard me talking about his future impending death. Hmm. Anyway, these caterpillars, you need to check all your other plants that you have around. Make sure that you don't have any other caterpillars growing through there. Now, they do turn into a really neat looking moth, and I don't think I have any pictures of that, but they've got a place, just not on my tomato plants. So I highly encourage you, if you see any kind of defoliation happening on your tomatoes, Go right ahead and check over your plants. Make sure that you don't have any of these. And if you do have them, then remove them. Just pull them off, put them somewhere else because they're not gonna go far. They're not that fast moving. But once you get them off of your plants, you can probably be pretty well assured that it's not going to continue that problem there. And again, look for those little white specks on the back of that caterpillar uh, because that is a beneficial insect that is helping you out quite a bit. So with that, I'm Dave from Growing the Home Garden. Uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Happy to have you along with more garden stuff. Thanks for watching.